ओं वक्रतुंडमहाकाय सूर्यकोटिसमप्रभ निर्विघ्न कुर मे देव सर्वकार्यु सरस्वती नमस्तुभ्यं वरधे कामिणी विद्यारंभम करष्या सिद्धर्भवत मे सदा गुरुर्ब्रह्मा गुरुर्विष्णु गुरुर्देव महेश्वर गुरसाक्षात्द ब्रह्म तस्म श्री गुरव नम सहन सहनो भुनक् सह वीर वहे तेजस्वी तमस्तमा वह ओ शात शात शाति ओम श्री परमात्म नम ओम श्री परमात्म नम अथ द्वितीयोध्या अथ द्वितीयोध्या श्री भगवाच श्री भगवाच अशोच्यानंदशोचस्व अशोच्यानंदशोचस्व प्रदाशसे प्रदाशसे गतासु न गतासु गतासु न गतासु नुशोच पंडिता नुशोच पंडिता नेवाहम जा नेवाहम जा नेमे जनाधिपा नेमे जनाधिपा न चेव न भविष्याम न चेव न भविष्याम सर्वे वयमत परम सर्वे वयमत परम कौमारम यौवनम जरा धीरस्तत्र न मुख्यते स्थैर धीरस्तत्र न मुख्यते धीरस्थैरस्तत्र न मुख्यते मात्रा स्पर्शास्तु कौंतेय मात्रा स्पर्शास्तु कौंतेय शीतोष्ण सुख दुखदा शीतोष्ण सुख दुखदा आगमा पायिनो नित्या आगमा पायिनो नित्या तान स्थिते क्षस्व भारत तान स्थिते क्षस्व भारत सुखम धीरम सुखम धीरम सोमृतवाय कल्पते तो मृथत्वाय खलते 
नासतो विद्यते भावा नासतो विद्यते भावा ना भावो विद्यते सतह ना भावो विद्यते सतह उभयोरपि दृष्टोंतह उभयोरपि दृष्टोंतह ಶ್ಲೋಕ್ಯತೆ ಸತಃ ಭಾವ ನ ವಿದ್ಯತೆ ಅಸತಃ ಭಾವ ನ ವಿದ್ಯತೆ ಸೊ ವಿ ಆರ್ ರೀಡಿಂಗ್ ದಟ್ ಶ್ಲೋಕ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಸಪೋಸ್ ಟು ರೀಡ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಇಯರ್ ಕಾನ್ಶಿಯಸ್ನೆಸ್ ಬಿಟ್ವೀನ್ ಟೂ ಥಾಟ್ಸ್ ಬಟ್ ದ ಕನೆಕ್ಷನ್ ವಿ ವಿಲ್ ರೀಡ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದಿ ದ ಪ್ರಿವಿಯಸ್ ರೀಡಿಂಗ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಎವ್ರಿ ಇನ್ ಎವ್ರಿ ಕಾಗ್ನೇಷನ್ ದರ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಟು in every perception there will be two buddhi sat buddhi and asat buddhi sat buddhi and asat buddhi asat buddhi means object buddhi when there is a part cognition part is the is buddhi sat buddhi and the part the part is the part the cognition of the pot that is pot buddhi asad buddhi so in every perception these two buddhis are the the object buddhi the object changes therefore object buddhi changes but the is buddhi sad buddhi doesn't change so sat is always there sat being always there the object comes and goes the is the is always will be there is is always there the object may be replaced by an object may be replaced by an another object but sat remains unaffected therefore the is buddhi in every perception that is buddhi always remains therefore the way in which the sat buddhi is conditioned is what undergoes change whereas the sat buddhi itself never changes sat buddhi as though conditioned by the asat buddhi that is object buddhi object comes and comes and goes so as though the sat buddhi is conditioned the sat buddhi is conditioned by the asat buddhi that is as though really it cannot be conditioned therefore only sat buddhi never changes the so shankaracharya says in his bhashyam that the object of the thought this is a part is asat because it is always changing it never remains the same whereas asat buddhi on the other hand is satya because whatever the sat is does that doesn't undergo any change so pot is replaced by tree tree is replaced by jar jar is replaced by mountain therefore in the beginning it was tree is then pot is then mountain is but sat buddhi is is always is whereas the sat buddhi object buddhi continues to change a doubt being possible here shankaracharya clarifies a point in the bhashyam by raising and answering an objection purva paksha suppose a pot is gone destroyed and the pot buddhi ghata buddhi the pot cognition is gone you say the pot was and now the pot is no more the pot being destroyed the pot buddhi goes and therefore the pot proves to be asat but along with the destroyed pot does the doesn't the is buddhi that is sat buddhi also go shankaracharya's response is, is that the is buddhi never goes is is always there we say the pot is destroyed but the destroyed pot is the pot is no more etc because something else is the is buddhi never goes only the conditioned sat buddhi is gone 
the sad buddhi which is conditioned by the asad buddhi the object buddhi that is gone but the conditioned sad buddhi is gone but sad buddhi always remains the for the sad buddhi the exist buddhi is conditioned by a particular name and form nama roopa so when sad buddhi is conditioned by ram nama roopa as a condition that allow that is called object buddhi that object buddhi goes but the sad buddhi never goes therefore and when the pot is destroyed the nama roopa is gone but the sad buddhi is not gone nama roopa is the sat conditioned sat sat as though conditioned it is there the sad buddhi always is there it is there to join anything the is buddhi can join the broken pot and therefore the broken pot is or anything else is only the asat keeps on changing the varieties of objects seen by you keep on changing while you remain the same person that is existence remains it never goes away if this aspect of teaching is not clear you can you could conclude that atma the sat vastu is zero the atma alone is everything else is nama roopa so nama roopa is a condition as though that pot is the clay is conditioned by the nama roopa pot the condition the clay gets a name pot conditioning in terms of nama roopa the fourth clay that, that is similarly the sad buddhi also seems to be conditioned by the object buddhi and object buddhi rasat buddhi changes sad buddhi doesn't change therefore atma alone is and everything else is nama roopa only only an addition to that sad buddhi an addition that doesn't bring about any addition really just as the pot form doesn't bring about a bring about an addition to the clay so to the addition of a nama roopa to the sad buddhi doesn't bring about any change to it this is a vision this is a vision of the shastram the sad buddhi is always qualified by an attribute is in the form of a tree is in the form of a pot so tree is 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 there isness always will be there and the, it is replaced by pot pot is is in the form of something and that form keeps on changing but is continues that which changes is asat mithya where asat remains ever the same and what is that sat sat buddhi is existence sat meaning existence and it is chit it is consciousness therefore sat chit that which is exist which is existence and it, and it is consciousness chaitanyam existence is consciousness consciousness the sat buddhi always joins with something in the form of knowledge and reveals so consciousness means knowledge so knowledge it joins always joins with something in the form of knowledge and reveals for example the pot is the pot is gone the tree is the tree is gone something else is when everything is gone the so yes will be with aham aham asmi asti becomes asmi so that, therefore all the way it is asmi only consciousness between two thoughts between two thoughts everything is gone except consciousness between the tree thought and the pot thought in the gap what is there is consciousness there is no object there is no object buddhi there is no asat buddhi the unconditioned sat that is consciousness chit that alone is and although everything and does everything does go between two thoughts consciousness doesn't require everything to go in order to be important point to be noted consciousness doesn't require everything to go in order to be therefore you don't have to empty your mind with the thoughts consciousness is without the thoughts the continu- consciousness continues to be therefore consciousness is always there that is why meditation is not suppressing or removal of thoughts consciousness is always is there so it is you always being there so whatever comes consciousness is and if everything go- everything goes consciousness is there is only one thing that is sat and that is consciousness it was said that the pot is mithya asat but because the pot buddhi changes then it was said when the pot is destroyed the sat buddhi 
the pot is buddhi is also destroyed therefore is it not isn't it your sat buddhi also asat no shankaracharya replies no even when the pot is gone the cloth is there you see the sat buddhi in the cloth another object cloth pot is destroyed so sat buddhi now when you see the cloth the sat buddhi is there in the cloth only the attribute has changed previously the sat buddhi as pot as its adjective now sat buddhi as cloth as its adjective so adjectives these are all adjectives nama rupas are adjectives mithya attributes only the attribute has changed previously sat buddhi was conditioned by the pot whereas now it is conditioned by the cloth therefore the destruction of the pot sat buddhi never gets destroyed it is with something else some other object cloth etc again an objection is raised even though one pot is gone we may still have pot buddhi in some other pot in this other pot we recognize this is a pot since pot buddhi doesn't change does this not prove that it is sat buddha shankaracharya said that although pot buddhi may be seen in another pot but it is not seen in the cloth only in another pot we can have can you have pot buddhi in a piece of cloth the only buddhi that you have is cloth buddhi not pot buddhi if you have pot buddhi in cloth then you will recognize a cloth as a pot but it is not therefore there is no pot buddhi pot cognition when you cognize a cloth whereas sat buddhi is always there in the pot in the cloth in anything you see and every anything you say is non existent we say the man's on doesn't exist this doesn't mean that there is no sat buddhi here when we say the horn is and the man is it is sat buddhi to say man's on is is wrong whereas to say man's on is not is right this latter expression indicates that man's on is not which is sat buddhi therefore sat buddhi doesn't undergo any change in any way sat buddhi is not is also is therefore sat buddhi which is a sat of the atma the is of the i is always there even in deep sleep that is why we want to experience sleep if we were not there at all if i were not there, not there at all i would i would not want to sleep therefore this i is always there we find however that there is a universal interest in sleep because it is an experience and a very welcome one at that sat buddhi is also present in the dream two orders of reality then shankaracharya deals with another problem that comes up a pot is asat pot is asat and there is asat buddhi which is really atma consciousness asat buddhi is that that is because of sat buddhi only consciousness it is this sat buddhi that joins the pot therefore pot is a sat buddhi is how is this combination possible between two equally existent objects there can be a combination but how can there be a combination between sat and asat you see a reflected face in the mirror but you cannot feed that person because there are no, no there are two orders of reality involved the spoon belongs to one order of reality and the reflection in the mirror to another that is why the mouth reflected the face even though it is open you cannot combine with the spoon similarly then if the atma is the object of this sat buddhi how can it go and join anything the fourth to the shankaracharya said that there was no problem sat can join anything how miraj water in the desert makes you feel happy but whether water is there or not it is only sat even if there is no water and you only imagine it to be there you still say the water is the isness is there is buddhi is there here the sat buddhi joins with the mirage water which is asat the is buddhi the sat buddhi thus joins anything and everything there is no rule that that prevents sat buddhi and asat buddhi from joining because sat is not opposed to anything everything being a superimposition upon sat the sat therefore the sat buddhi lends itself to any type of object such as an imagined pot or a real pot a mistaken snake 
superimposed on a piece of rope or real rope or anything. Therefore, imagination is something different from mistake. Even if you are aware that you are imagining something, then it is imagination. Either way, an imagined part is naked, even though it is later found to be a rope. A rope is the Sadbuddhi joins in and any and every situation. That object of the Sadbuddhi, the Sadbuddhi Vishaya is Atma and it is called Sat, for which non existence Abhavaha is not there. Sataha Abhavaha Navidyate. Anything that depends upon something else is Asat. Therefore, Sat is Sat as independent existence, Asat as dependent existence. If you look at your, if you look at your body, Deha, on that basis, it is Asat. Because therefore, there is no cause for sorrow. Because the body doesn't exist on its own. It has dependent existence. It is the same with any thought. When we say thought is, that isness is consciousness. Atma. Consciousness is. And the thought is incidental to consciousness. Thought is incidental to consciousness. It is not intrinsic. The problem is we think that thought, thoughts are real. It is incidental. It is unreal. Therefore, thoughts are mithya. They don't really exist independent of consciousness. It is mithya. A thought is nothing but a nama rupa. A thought that as an outside object is called a perception. If there is an object per se outside sense perception, then it is inferential knowledge, imagination or memory. Whatever it is, the thought is. It is nothing but consciousness conditioned by the nama rupa. And if there is no nama rupa, then what is? Is still, con still consciousness only. Nama rupa doesn't exist. Then consciousness continues to exist. That's why in between the two thought, two thoughts, what is is consciousness. The sat buddhi, sat is always there, and sat and existence. That is consciousness. So sat is chitta, chitta is sat. There is, there are no difference between them. Therefore, sat is always only chit atma. When we say atma, it is chit. Consciousness manifests itself as I and I, 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 I am. I am is existence. So I am exists sat and chit, chit sat. And the word satya can only mean, mean chit. Self existent consciousness alone can be sat. Either word sat or chit will bring in the other word because what has to be chit has to be sat. And what has to be sat has to be chit. So that which is sat has to be chit only. It cannot be anything else. That which is chit has to be sat. Therefore, con con consciousness always exists. That existence is consciousness. Thus, the sat will bring in chit, uh, chit and chit will bring in sat. Because everything depends upon this sat chit. Sat chit become limitless. Anantaha, anantaha eva anantaha. Therefore, limitless. Therefore, ananda, purnatva mityattaha. The word ananta means limitless. Anantaha, antaha na vidyate. Doesn't have any limitation. So, limit doesn't have any limitation. Therefore, purnat, purnaha ityartaha. Therefore, anandaha. Satchit ananda. Atma and consciousness is ananta, not limited by nama rupa, not limited by the nama rupa atmaka jagat. Therefore, it is also said to be Ananda. People are always looking for Ananda. If everything depends upon Satchit, is there any limitation for Satchit Atma? Satchit Atma, there is no limit because everything is Satchit, Satchit Atma. Therefore, from the standpoint of Satchit Atma, there is no distance it's between itself and everything else. Nor is anything separate from it. In any cognition, the subject is Satchidatma. The object is Satchidatma. And the means of knowledge, the thought, the vritti, that also is Satchidatma. All the three are Satchidatma alone. Thus, Satchit Ananda is the Swarupa of Atma. Sat is not going to be non existence at any time. And Asat cannot be kept as it is because it is constantly changing. Asat, asat buddhi, buddhi, the mind being, the mind 
nothing but the flow of thoughts. Therefore, the thoughts corresponding to the objects, the objects changes, therefore, thoughts changes, therefore, the asat buddhi, asat continues to change. Therefore, sat is a meaning, the content of the sat buddhi and the content of the asat buddhi is name and form. When we say the pot is, the chair is, the table is, the man is, the woman is, the tree is, the is in all of them is the sat buddhi. That is, that is, is common. And it's always qualified by the name and form called tree, pot, table, chair and so on. Really speaking, it should be, we say pot is, it is, is pot. It is, the pot is, the pot is, pot is always is, the pot is always exists, chair, the is does always exist. The pot is replaced by chair. The chair is replaced by the table. The table is replaced by the man. The cognition changes, but the is, the isness continues. So, the, in taking the example of pot is, the pot is, that is, is sata, it is qualified by the pot. It is the nama rupa, pot qualifies it. Is sat. Similarly, the Nama Rupa, since it is Nama Rupa, Asat Mithya continues to change. Therefore, pot is replaced by chair. The is remains. Now the is is qualified by chair. The is is qualified by table. The is is qualified by man. So is is a substantive which remains as it is. And the qualifier continues to change. Therefore, the is in all of them is the Sat Buddhi that alone remains and the Asat, Asat Buddhi, pot, chair, table, they come and go. So therefore, that is, is common and it is always qualified by name and form and is all, always qualified by the name and form called tree, pot, table, chair and so on. Why do we say name and form? Because whatever you consider depends on something else, which depends on something else and so on. Whenever we say something is, the is, is the basis, the satya. Satyam, satya is sat, satyam. And the nama rupa is mitya. Pot cannot exist independent of is. Therefore, the nama rupa, the pot is mitya. It is asat, depends on sat. The object, the vishaya of the sat buddhi is, the vishaya of the sat buddhi is satya. Therefore, the amness, I am, that amness in I am, akamasmi, the arness in you are, from asi, and the isness in he, he is, saha asti, and that is tad asti, are all one and the same are all one and the same. The isness that each implies is a common basis for all things that exist. Therefore, it is the karana, the cause for everything, and therefore it is called satyam. And the effect karya is asat mitya because it is dependent on the karana for its existence. As mentioned earlier, Vedanta is nothing but the discussion of this cause and effect, satya and mitya. Karana Karya Vada, product and, and its cause. A product, a creation, a Karya, a Vikara is entirely dependent upon Satyam, that which is self-existent. If Satyam itself dependent on something else, it would not be Satya. The self-existent Satyam is called Karana, the cause. Depending on what it is you want to prove, karana can also said to be satyam. Yata karanam tata satyam. That which is a cause is said to be satyam. Because it is a cause, like clay, it refers to a pot. Because clay is a cause for the pot, therefore it, clay is satyam, but only for the pot. Please understand. Another example is thread. As the cause are satyam for the cloth. Thus, from these two examples, we see satyam is karanam, and karana is satya. With reference to a product, a creation, we are going to prove something. In Shankaracharya's Bhashya, on this verse, he says, 
that a product is mithya yat karyam tat mithya yat karanam tat satyam yat karyam tat mithya mithya means asat the word used in the current verse these kinds of statements reflect a style that will be coming across later a product is mithya because it is dependent upon a cause as is a case for for the cloth where a sat is not dependent upon anything else and then therefore undergoes no change whatsoever sataha abhavah na vidyate because the object of sadbuddhi is sat and the object of asadbuddhi is asat we have sadbuddhi at all times the asadbuddhi depends on the sadbuddhi the object of the asadbuddhi the for depends upon the object of sadbuddhi the clay which itself depends on something else when you say clay is the clay depends on another sadbuddhi atoms when you say the atom is the atom depends upon particles which depend on a concept when you say a concept is the concept depends upon the witness of the concept sakshi sakshi chaitanyam which is consciousness and when you say consciousness is what does it depend upon it doesn't depend upon another consciousness because it is swatas siddha it is self existent therefore consciousness is so therefore consciousness which is chit is is sat therefore they are not different chit is sat sat is chit sat chit sakshi chaitanyam therefore nothing can be satya except that which is self existent that this is all that is being said here that which is self existent is atma and that alone is satyam everything else being dependent upon satya is asat for the satya atma there is no non existence whereas non existence meaning abhava whereas for the asat anatma there is no real existence the experience of seeing objects is there but these objects are all only the transactional world vyavahara and therefore they are only an empirical reality about these two sat and sat asat a final understanding an ascertained conclusion the ultimate knowledge is arrived at by the seers of the truth of brahma tatva darshi vihi anayoho vayoho api antaha tu drishtaha second line of the shloka tatva darshi tatvam drashtum shilam yesham esya tatva darshi tatva darshi is the one who is capable of seeing the truth tatva of everything tatva is the abstract form of the pronoun tat tatva tatvam it is derived from tat tat means that the pronoun tat means that and can stand for anything from apple to zebra as indicated by the word in sanskrit for pronoun sarvanama meaning the name for everything it is sarvanama shabda therefore the name for everything is tat therefore the word tatva means the truth the intrinsic nature of anything that is tatvam thatness an object is is because of what it enjoys existence because of what that is tatvam thatness abstract noun thatness tatva tatvam the reality the truth so therefore tatvam means the truth the intrinsic nature of a thing without which the object cannot be as it is cannot exist shankaracharya further explains its meaning by saying because all that is here is only brahma the name for that brahma is tat and the abstract noun of tat tatva means the truth the swarupa of brahma so tat the name for brahma is tat therefore only at the end of every chapter om tat sadit om tat sat iti shrimad bhagavad gita su we say tat means brahma because everything is brahma alone therefore when we use a sarvanama shabda tat it refers to brahma anything in, in the jagat can be indicated by the word tat therefore tat means it is ishvara everything is bhagavan therefore tat tatvam means the truth the nature of tat brahma then the truth of brahma that we will see in the next class ಪೂರ್ಣಮದೂರ್ನಮುದೂರ್ನಮುದೂರ್ನಮುದೂರ್ನಮೇವಶಿಷ್ಯ
शांति 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 हरि ओम धन्यवाद